it's another beautiful Friday night here in the studios of New Frontiers Television. And you know how it is when it is 8 p.m. It is Ladies, Ladies Lounge. Lounge. <laughs> and of course, we are ready to excite you today as we, of course, the because it's just pertaining to ladies. Our tonight is going to be fun. It's our first episode in August. Try last month, we talked about etiquette, and it was the amazing. feedback from it was wow, it was an amazing experience. But in August, August is a fun month for us. We're going to be having fun back to the back on the show, which is uh, what we're starting with today. But by the way, my name is Adiola Adegoke. Thanks for joining us. And my name is Omolola Dawe. This is Ladies Lounge, and you're here to learn a lot of things, so don't go anywhere. Yep, stay right here with us. Today on Ladies Lounge, we have... Hmm. <clears throat> okay, now, you know, uh, because of COVID, we've not been able to have in-house guests yeah. on the show. But interestingly, today we are having our first in-house guest post-COVID. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> she's an amazing person. She's, she's a lively person. She's... I mean, she's, she has been smiling since I, I met her today. So I, I figure she's a very smiley person. And no other person than... Ta-da! Ta -da. Okay, <laughs> drum roll. <laughs> a missus. Now, I, you, I'm going to tell you why I'm placing the emphasis on that missus. Hmm. Mrs. Adzigun Jewande Oluwakemi. <laughs> Thank you welcome. very much for having me on the show this evening. My I'm name is Oluwakemi. Please let's <laughs> let's move the music. Ah, right okay. <laughs> now let me just you. See, she's an agri economist. Mm. She's a mom. She's a wife. Mm. She has a beautiful daughter, an amazing daughter. Yeah. What has been? She has been showing us stunts since <laughs> she got into the studio today. Yeah. And tonight we're talking about something interesting. Mm. We're talking about handling breakups. Like, mm. you're a lady. And your heart has never been broken. Oh my God. Wow, you don't know what the Lord has done for you. Congratulations. Like, you Sister. don't know. You don't understand the gravity of it. You should do testimony in church tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, Sunday. Today is still Friday. On Sunday. But if you're a lady and hmm, your heart has been broken, shattered, I've been smashed, and everything, <laughs> oh then God. you understand why we should be talking about this topic yeah. tonight. Get ready to get so wild because our guest is loaded. She's going to give us our experiences exactly. <laughs> and everything. I don't know that, but that will be right after this time out. So do stay with us. Yes, yes, it's still Ladies Lounge and we are still here in the studio. So let's get right into it. A breakups. Um, okay. My heart has been broken. Now, before people will say, yeah, I love you, I love you, for me, strong, strong. Please, it has been, but then we move. Yeah, At we every move. point, we move. We move. Last, last, <laughs> last, last, right. we move. Yeah, like, right. so, mm -hmm. madam, what is it? What is it mean? Yeah, what? I feel that there's nothing like breakup. Mm. Uh, heartbreak rather okay. okay because heartbreak to me is a metaphor mm. it's our heart can it break mm. no it's flesh <laughs> after <laughs> all <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it our glass cup no or glass plate mm. no but i feel what it is basically is when a man and a man assuming a man and a man are in a relationship okay. they could just be casual friends and you tell me well pardon me I will see you tomorrow and you don't yeah. come. Okay. You could get my heart broken. Like you promised to come and so, you didn't come. Mm -hmm. It can be between a father and a child. I'll okay. buy this for you yeah. when I'm coming back. And you didn't Daddy, where's my biscuit? Oh, I forgot. You promised to get all that. Uh -huh. But now between a man and a woman, a relationship. Ha. Yeah. Ah, Heartbreak, a man terrible. I'm sorry. Like it's it's crazy. Mm. But I feel that after a heartbreak. What next do you do? I think the first thing you do ah, is... Uh, no, 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 no. Don't jump the do gut. Ah, okay. See, this thing that you are looking at it like it's trivia. You know, ah. It is not. Is, eh? So don't move to solution first. Okay. Let's talk about our hearts. Our hearts first. <laughs> and and let's, let's also talk about what causes it actually. 
Okay. What are the things that can, can what can make someone to have a heartbreak? Heartbreak. Even okay. In relationship. I think in a relationship, the first thing that is paramount is communication. Okay. Communication is key in every relationship. If there is no communication, then hmm. there will be heartbreak. Like I call you today and you tell me. I'm busy and I really want to tell you how my day went <laughs> and I feel down definitely if it continues like that and like that like that it leads to heartbreak but what if I'm actually busy, busy. would you be busy every day okay now that's the point point. and you say you're in love with me Thank no you. it's cannot work that way then another thing apart communication is reciprocating your partner's feelings mm. okay. I can't put a hundred in a relationship and they are putting a thing. No, it can't work. Mm. I can't give you my all, like my all. And you are giving me just a part of you. Ah. Okay, can I just chip in there? <laughs> okay. Now, okay. With a relationship between a man and a woman, yes. most times, most times, really at the early stage of relationship, mm -hmm. ladies tend to withdraw first and say, okay, let me see if this guy is really serious and if he's not serious. And at that point, mm -hmm. there's possibility for the guy to be thinking, this lady is not feeling me, she's not doing... So how do we actually balance and let, it, and let know, those parties actually know that, okay, I'm just trying to see if you're going okay. to be committed. Okay. That's on the lady's part. I guess. On the guy's part, it's like, I'm trying to to see if you actually love me also so how do we balance that part let me talk from experience right now okay i started dating quite at a very young age okay but i always had this notion from small that if i say yes to you i'm looking at marriage with you i'm not doing boyfriend girlfriend i do i don't you're not doing my work in my normal no i always from small so i'm talking from experience now okay. i don't want to talk from other people's view i'm talking from my own experience All right. when i met my husband i think i was 17. Oh, wow. yes <laughs> and i felt that this person i see a very beautiful future in fact he had nothing but i just felt good deal all right last last how you old get was he then he was 23. okay wow. but he had a girlfriend then oh. but i just said this boy and this girl, I'll break them up. Hey. <laughs> you get. <laughs> so I, I did everything possible. I gave my all. Wow. Like before the girl calls him, I yeah. called him like ten times. Oh, yeah. Wow. You wow. understand me? Mm. So he, in fact, men, men too, they have, they have feelings, they have conscience. They go reason them. So okay, this girl that, they might not tell you, but deep down in their hearts, this girl is giving my, she's Give giving her attention. all. Yes. So why don't I? Reciprocate, reciprocate mm. the feelings she's giving to me. Mm. But at the same time, after I broke them up, I was in Lagos then. I came to Ibadan. Someone told me that, would you believe that Shola and Abayu are still dating? I said, nah, no, it's not possible. The person said, okay, come to his house at, at 7 p.m. You will meet them. And truthfully, I went there at 7 and I caught them together. Oh, and I was heartbroken. Okay. Then I told him, like, but you promised me this and this and this. He was like, eh, that this girl too, you can't break the girl's heart. Oh. I said, okay, so pick between myself and this girl right now. Oh, no. you, 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 he chose me. Oh. He told the girl to go. And but you believe that he went back <laughs> to beg the girl and told the girl mm. he was sorry and all. Oh. So I was heartbroken. But eventually, we sorted things out and we were and together. And the man is yours today. The man <laughs> is mine <laughs> today. And that's why I said that mm. in that time when he, when he told me that um, this girl he could not break her heart and all of that, I looked for one person to talk to. That is very okay. important in heartbreaks. In you have, heartbreaks. Yes, you have one person that you can always call at any time of the day mm -hmm. and say, this is what is happening. What do I do? If there's someone reasonable, mm -hmm. she or he could always give you very good advice and calm you down. And you know, from there, you get at you ease. Get away. Yes. Okay, now, so, um, <laughs> Because we are talking, I mean, experiences here. Yeah, so I'm going to think about on some of the things you said. Okay. Now you did mention that he, he, you met him with a guy, uh, with a lady. Lady, please. yes. And then he still went back to make the lady. Yes. And he still decided that this relationship was going to work. Yes. Seventeen <laughs> till now. Yeah. And you still, and you had the opportunity to say this no. thing is not yeah. working. I'm. Um, uh, why did you decide to like? Even though you knew that, oh, your heart was being, I mean, your heart was having mm, issues. When I met him, point or the other. I, 
during even despite my age then i was quite young but i tend to see beyond everything my friends were seeing okay. my friends were seeing flashy things we all love flashy things yes, we no do. doubt we do. We do. but <laughs> i was seeing the future i was seeing in 10 years time okay. i was seeing in five years time okay. i was seeing commitment I was seeing seriousness and, you know, would I bring a conversation with a man and the conversation will flow? Would I be best friends with this person forever? Yeah. Would he be able to take care of me for even at that young age? Little mm. things mattered to him concerning me. I had not gained admission then. But you always say, did you go for your lessons today? Did you read today? Did you solve this math today? I saw beyond... Oh, wait, what my friend You are not in admission. Like, you yeah. were in school. Where I was not in school then. No. So, how? In fact, my mom was like, are you okay? No, really, how did you do it? Sorry, I'm interested though, like, personally. Like, how did, how did you do it? I, do, I don't know. You I went just, to school. Yes. Five years in school. And you didn't even think, like, you didn't meet someone better or you felt like, no, this Definitely is not Definitely, you would have seen very cute guys in school. So, what happened? Like, why him? It was just this guy is so brilliant. When he talks, everybody is like, mm -mm. when he talks, everybody listens. Mm. You mm. get, I just mm. thought, what else would I be looking for? Even as at that time, he didn't have anything, but I just knew that the boy in my father, Joe, where you are, ah, Mr. Z, you, you go see, see, like, you would eventually <laughs> have money, and I would eventually enjoy these things that my friends are enjoying. Sure. I would eventually enjoy them. Though it was not rosy all along. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I met a guy in my 300 level in school. Yes, I was, it was in my 300 level in school. This guy basically swept me off my feet. In fact, then I was misbehaving to, to my husband right now. Mm. When he calls me like, are you coming to bed? I say, no, I'm not coming, no. It was because <laughs> of this guy I met in school. But I just felt that if I break this one's heart, how will he cope? Though we, I, everybody will cope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody we will all cope. There is no, there is no special person that you say be by force by fire. I must spend the rest of my life with you. No, we will all cope. <laughs> yes, but I just felt that it's not worth it. Wow, wow. It's not worth it. Yes. Lady? Yes, the lady. She <laughs> hated me, mm. and I hope she still hates me. Though I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But luckily for her, she got married last month. Oh, wow. And when I saw it, I was then. quite happy for her that, ah, at last, baby, it's <laughs> married. <laughs> like, finally, so, you also can. Yes. Oh, so. wow, well, that's cool. But now, um, looking at, you did say that people would eventually move on. Yes. But seriously, I've seen cases hmm. where they don't move on. Okay, maybe not move maybe on. Maybe they eventually move on. Like, but it takes time. No, it takes time. And then there are situations where one wrong relationship just crumbles yeah. your entire journey okay i mean and then whatever happens after that it's not moving on it's coping mm. yes but let me tell you something let me talk as an agriculturist now okay i believe that you should not date an avesta hmm. date yes. a gardener explain like <laughs> <laughs> a gardener from your nursery stage mm. will water you will nurture you will give you every nutrient that you need to grow and in that relationship you will find yourself growing and you will see yourself blooming that's what a gardener will do yeah. not in that context anyway yeah, and an investor will just come and see something nice from your tree and just pluck it. and just but go so from that dating stage, I feel that as ladies, now we should be able to sit down first and dissect this guy I'm saying. What is his mission in my life? Is this guy just an obvious star? Just wants to come and pluck all the good things from my life and go? Mm -hmm. Or does he want to nurture me? Take for instance, right now, I'm not working I'm because of my baby. Mm -hmm. But even at that, when my husband comes back from work, he will tell me... I saw an opening today, but it's not time yet. Maybe we'll just chill a little bit. But I feel that if you work here, you would, you know, make great exploits. You would do this. That mm -hmm. is what a guy, I feel a gardener, a gardener should. should do. Not, ah, you're not working yet. Uh, you get, date a man that 
first be friends with a man when you are friends with a guy just from being friends if you call the guy and say i'm not really okay today the way he would answer you you should be able to discern if this person this person really wants something serious or if it's just a playboy though there are some guys that are very smart yeah. mm -hmm. you will never know oh, their intentions <laughs> no you will not know my husband too was a very good player you will not you will, in fact he covers his tracks very well they all do they all cover their tracks well and that is why one of my solutions about breakup is as breaks is talking to god i think mm -hmm. that's my number three solution the first one is talking with someone the second one is crying over it mm. don't form don't form i'm a hard girl i'm a hard girl no Strong. give yourself time to cry over it mm. and after crying over it why not talk to god let him ease the burden let him ease the stress of your heart so i think basically <laughs> like, come on, yes you <laughs> get okay. then before we start before we start dropping our bodies at, mm -hmm. at jesus's feet now let's let's also talk about some of the things to look out for because the truth is like you said i mean mm -hmm. some guys are just so good so yeah. good i mean you never know mm -hmm. and then this I, I keep saying it most times we we feel like the church is like the best place to meet that person like i know church guys are cool. are you serious but then <laughs> church we've seen things in this world that mm -hmm. man it doesn't matter where you meet the person no it like, doesn't i mean people can be funny yeah. and then you see people that oh the god has shown me and oh, then at really? the end of the day no, these some are some people can, god it's, it's a two-way thing okay some people can lie about god showing you some people can be tr true about it yes but, so it's a two-way thing so and you know so what are some of the things that one needs to look out for because again uh, growing up i know mm -hmm. a lot of us ladies i mean every lady mm -hmm. has that dream guy like oh this is who i want yeah. this is what i want, want. guys mm -hmm. who said and then at the long run you just you meet that perfect person and you feel like this is the perfect person hmm. and then perfect. two months perfect it's just like that it's just like the person you knew is no longer the person you, you met yes but i feel that one about as regards the church issue the devil's in the church right now. Hey! The devil's in the church right now. No, no, no. So let's leave that church. You can meet your man anywhere. Mm. And secondly is, there is no perfect man. Mm. There is no perfect relationship. There is no perfect marriage. I tell my friends that are not married. If they tell me, eh, this, 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 eh, <laughs> marriage. In fact, I, I could, I, I could even advise you that if it's possible, please don't get married. I'm telling you, if if, if, if it was possible, but I feel that they would just tell you uh, because you're married. Because of course, I also feel that that most times when your married friends are telling you that take your time, it's because they are married. I'm telling you, it's not because of that. Because my husband is the kind of I, I'm this person that I do, I don't want to say I have this OCD. I'm a very, to some extent, I'm quite neat. I like things organized. And when my husband gets back from work, you wait him. His shirt here, yeah. his, his scatters everywhere. And I'm like, I took a whole day to get this place clean. And you come in just 15 minutes. And this whole place is like this. Baba, how far now? What are you doing? Because you're, you're both different. That's what I'm saying. So it takes, we complement each other, basically. Mm. My lapses. Yes. Is too, you know, so it just works like that i did the one guy when i was in andre level in school when my husband went for his youth service okay we did it for a few months the guy just told me one day and said he's no longer interested and meanwhile then my boyfriend was serving in edo state i was calling him i said i want to come to edo state to see you how would i be in a relationship and you are over there and i'm over here i don't mind the distance i don't mind the cost i just want to come and they kept telling me no 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 so i did that someone in my entry level though for just a few months and the guy told me that just all of a sudden i fell in love with the guy you wouldn't believe it yeah. i really loved him he just called me one day and said uh, he went somewhere to pray uh, and they okay. told him uh, we could not we were not meant for each other mm. and i was not his wife I, I, I cried uh, I for day. <laughs> Do you know that before they when they talk about um it broke my heart i used to feel like uh-uh 
heart. I didn't know what it meant. Not until <laughs> the thing is, it's actually real. Oh. The experience taught me for days. Believe you me, I could not eat. Sincerely. Eating parts, ah. like how how will you be so sad that you oh. won't be able to eat? Uh, it has I never mean, happened. You'll to be you. It has never happened. No, to I've been you. heartbroken before, but no, no, no but that, that eating, eating part has never happened to you. Really? Do you have no, no, you've not been heartbroken. Yes, <laughs> you, you don't know what heartbreak is. Okay, I could not eat for no, days. Uh, okay, believe you me. When I see the food, no, it's not your raffin. Like those things really okay. happen. I just feel uh, I'm not. Yes. Then, mm. to bust my bubbles, he now dated someone that I called my friend. Oh. oh. So imagine how oh, oh, worse oh, oh, oh. the pain could have been yeah. at that time. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, I had someone that I could always talk to. It is very, very important. If you don't have someone to talk to, in fact, when you are walking, you feel that your heart is heavy. Yes. I mean, I'm like, there's a weight. Yes, there's, there's this a weight, weight on your, on there's, your chest. There's, like this, your... there's this weight. But when you talk to someone, it works like magic. Mm. Yes, it does. It really does. Sincerely, I'm not talking about myself alone right now. Generally, it does. Even without heartbreaks or anything. If something is bothering, if you have someone that is reasonable, yes, mm -hmm. reasonable, matured, to say, this is what I'm feeling. This is how I'm feeling. What do I do? How do I cope? And tell you, uh -uh, this is not the end of the world. There are several other guy, guys out yeah. there that, in fact, they will worship you and, you know, like, okay. it, does not, it does not go in a day. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, mm. It takes, process. yes, it takes. Process. And you just, you, know, you just see yourself that, I'm over this person. You know, before when you when the first out, you'll be looking at the number on your phone and you want to dial the number and you just say, I'm not calling. No. Call. no. And later yeah, on, you, so you just see that even the number will still be on your phone. Yes. Yeah. But at all. Mm. At all. Yeah. So, I think yeah. I also want to keep this in. It's important that even when we're in a relationship, it should not be secretive because in a situation of heartbreak, you might not even know someone, you might not be able to tell somebody because people around you probably didn't, didn't know, know. the relationship. So you even have that mind to go and open up, oh, I was in this relationship and, oh, really, you were in a relationship? I never knew. You didn't tell me. So <laughs> secret relationship <laughs> is a no-no. I, 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 don't, I don't support it. But to some extent, I still support secret relationships. Okay. In the sense that I feel that it's my business. Yeah, it's your business, but not to the fact that nobody would so know about So, why would you now, why would they break your ass and you not come and tell me that? Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, keep your ass back to yourself. I mean, it's your, it's your ass now. Shabby, it's your, you hear me? You were keeping it secret. So, don't tell me. Okay, and, uh, again, I believe that there are some red flags in relationships. Yeah. I mean, that should alert you to, oh, no, this is not going to work. So, can you share some of the areas? That is what <laughs> will bring us to the fact that I would not advise any lady to fall in love. I would advise that you are deeply rooted. I'm sorry, I'm going back to Greek again. No. Be deeply rooted in love. Why? When you see red flags mm. and you are, you are falling in love, you will close your eyes to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will not see them. Mm. But when you are deeply rooted in love, you know when a, a tree stands, its root is under. Mm -hmm. You get nutrients. You get enough sun. You get enough rain. You mm -hmm. get everything that will make you flourish and all. And you are deeply rooted. And you see these things. Like you come to your boyfriend or your fiance's house. You see a earring there. And you say, ah. I'm going to use my husband's name again. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you say, ah. I'll buy your. How, where did this earring come from? You say, ah. I'll borrow me. <laughs> Abu, well, so I'm sorry. Which of your younger sisters came here? Me, oh, me, 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 me. I will call that sister. Hey. Yes. <laughs> will... Oh, if I've not been introduced to that sister, mm -hmm. okay. I might ignore that one. Okay. I might ignore it for peace to reign. Mm -hmm. And so that it's not, not be like, I don't always believe you. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you would see some other things. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. But we just choose. To, to, to ignore, ignore them, them. Mm. and no. eventually <laughs> you will now say that I fell in don't fall in love with him hmm. no don't 
mm -hmm. deeply rooted. Be deeply in rooted love. in that love. And you will notice that when you sit as a tree, when the weather changes, you see them yeah. because, so. you get. So even as humans, you see some changes. You should know. even trees they, they notice the weather, they notice these things. So why not as human beings mm. we have our senses, we have everything. Let's notice these things and immediately before he gives you the red flag. You have flagged your sins. Okay. And you have told him it's over. Okay. Oh. Now, because, I mean, we're talking to our sisters here. So, there's, there's this thing. Mm, you mentioned that if you had sent hand hearing, you're going to ask him, then try and. Yes. Call. Then people tell you, no, no. you cannot monitor. How can you be monitoring your husband or your, ah, your boyfriend? Your boyfriend. Your relationship to an extent. You can't. No, I no, 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 no. I'm so sorry to cut you. Okay. You My husband still now, you cannot monitor him. Mm. It's under case of understanding right now. When my husband tells you, when I, when he, sometimes when I call him and he says, Kemi, I'm busy, I'm busy, call me back. And he comes back home from work and I'm like, I called you before. You said you were busy. And you'll be like, ah, if I was not busy, would I tell you I was busy? Okay, that's true. There are some people like that. Mm. So how do you checkmate mm. the person? Some people will say, I could always take his phone, uh. And you know, <laughs> go through his call logs, go through That's his like insecurity to an extent, you know, like yes, something to some, to some extent is like insecurity. insecurity. Okay, right. so <laughs> how do you check me those kind of oh, people? Geez. I feel that it still boils down to a man cannot be 100% mm. perfect, okay. believe, except you want to close your eyes to so. those things. Yes, there will definitely be. Some uh -uh. <laughs> no. okay, now, so when is when is uh, that point where you reach and you feel like enough is enough? Like, oh no, this is it. Mm. Because you know, uh, sometimes we are more forgiving than the other. Yeah. I mean, there's some ladies that when you hear things, they cope with. You're like, no. Why? Why are you still there? Yeah. So when should you feel like no? It's time to move. Yes. Okay. Me personally, I used to say something that if I'm in a relationship with someone, assuming I was not married yet. The only time I would pack my bags and say I'm leaving is when he beats me. Okay. Mm. And before he beats me, it should have started from Are you stupid? Are you this? Yeah. From there. No. You already know that he's uh, the no, this one. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Nice doing business with you. I'll run. Mm. So we are different. Me, that is what the first thing that will make me run. Cheating to me, I'm sorry, might not make me leave a relationship. Okay. Cheating to me might not make me. That doesn't mean you should cheat on me. <laughs> Cheating to me that <laughs> might not make me leave a relationship because I feel that mm, if I leave this person for this person, am I sure that this person will not do even worse? Mm. Than this person is doing. So if it's not domestic violence, Baba we die here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I feel that if if I if I say I want to leave because he's not giving me money or he's not giving me stuff, please, please <laughs> I have my money. Take care of your children. We could split split the, the bills, bills and yeah. all of that. So for me, I think all me personally, domestic violence is the only thing that could make me leave a relationship. To okay. Me. So. Now, this is the part where we move to. How do you now handle it? Like, it has happened. Yeah. You are down. Your yeah. whole world is shattering. Yeah. Everything is, you mm. feel like everything is like over. It's, it's <laughs> against you. Your whole world is against you. So, mm. like I said before, and I will say it again. One, have someone that you can talk to. I don't mean bestie. You know, your own bestie would have another bestie. Mm. That bestie would have another bestie. Mm -hmm. No. Have someone that you could call. It could be your mom. That's why I value relationships that are okay between mothers and daughters. It could be your mom. It could be your sister. And if you don't have one, you, at least you should have one friend that will take you for a bosom friend and your secret stays with her. Mm. And you could tell, okay, this, this guy called and this and this. Okay. Talking about it. You can call that friend any time of the day and she should be able to listen to you. And secondly, like I said, cry over it. 
don't let anybody tell you it's okay don't cry don't form no 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 <laughs> did you know sometimes when you cry over some things it is it, it, it oh makes, my it makes God. you feel better yes it makes does. you feel better it does and so this is where we would you know go on a short break ladies lounge will be back shortly Ladies Lounge and we're here in the studios. I hope you're listening to words of wisdom as it's dropping from Hodova Kemi. Like if it's academic sites now, we'll do Hodova Kemi 2020. <laughs> Right. So you were talking about how people can deal with yes, uh, breakups. Yeah. Uh, talking about how you have to talk to someone, mm -hmm. cry over it, and most importantly, pray with God, pray with God, pray yeah. to God, talk to God. Yeah. And I most times, me personally, when I'm burdened mm. or heartbroken, I don't talk to God like God is there. No, like He's up. No, I like have a conversation with Him. With yes, <laughs> like you didn't tell me this. We didn't say it like this. Oh God, this cannot be happening. Yes. <laughs> like when I wanted to enter this relationship, relationship why didn't you tell me? It was tell me. To be like this. Or why didn't you send someone to me, even if I was deaf at that time? Why didn't you send someone to tell me? Mm. So that's, I think that's very, very important. And before going into another relationship, the number three now should be number one. That's okay. talking with God and praying to God about it the new yeah, about the new one so mm. i think basically those are the three most important to me those are the three most important things about okay so um, still talking about how to handle it now what about the person themselves like you know relationships sometimes you have to merge your ideas you have to merge your um dreams you have to merge your visions together so now yes. that the person is heartbroken mm -hmm. what does the person do to bounce back to be the person self and to focus on the journey ahead one, I feel that what you should do is, I think you should not see someone as your God. Okay. If I see you as my God, it means that my whole life revolves around you. And I think it shouldn't. Mm. Even if I'm in a relationship of 10 years with you, my whole life still would not revolve around you. I have other things I'm doing. I have my hobbies. I have my job. Mm. I have my family. Okay. I have several other things I'm doing. Mm. So if you tell me that it's over and I've merged my visions with you, then definitely there will be someone else. Yeah. I can always build those dreams again. With. So long I didn't revolve my whole life around. around. You mm. see some people when they're in relationships. The world to me. Like the the whole world. <laughs> I can't do without him. Let's 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 come to reality now. <laughs> a man should not be your <laughs> own world. Let him have all the money. Mm. Let him give you all the fun. But she's just sometimes you should call your girlfriend and say, Babes, let's hang out today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Dad, I'm coming over to your place. Or work. You know, there will be other things that will take your mind off him okay. and gradually mm. Mm. she'll be fine last last. As I you know how it is, the conversation part of the so end. Then we are on the grill segment. segment. <laughs> <laughs> we, are placing, we are placing our guest on hot seat. Hot seat. Of course, your girl is in the studio. <laughs> we show up. We <laughs> should be there. Hello, everyone. You think I'm going to miss this segment now? <laughs> because I've been looking forward to all scare me on this segment. And I can't wait I'm but to ask my question. <laughs> and she, as you can hear what she said she said the seat is already hot very hot very very hot so to start with tonight you're starting with me my name is Funsho Afolabi your one and only Funshi babe so I will be asking you are you ready let me ask her first are you really ready for this I think I'm ready you think <laughs> so or maybe you should put it like this so help me God Oh. So yes, yes. So help me God. <laughs> <laughs> so help anyway, me God. we have on the segment we have. You are just gonna pick questions and you answer 
politely. We, if you don't get it, I'll give you a beautiful smile. And okay. if you get it, I'll give you a R5. Okay. So here I have question one. We both have question one okay. to 11. I'm going to, you pick from my side. You pick from Jela's side. Okay. And whatever it is, I wish you best of luck. How many questions <laughs> am I supposed to answer? We have 11 on the ground. Oh, uh, no, let's say, okay. We can so answer seven. <laughs> you can uh, answer seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... That's or do you enough. want to go for eight? Hey, but you we have to answer the whole <laughs> 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, which question are you going for? We have one to 11. 11. You pick. So your, pick. Your lucky um, number. You're lucky your number. Pick. Please, 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 please. 11. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm, 11 says, hmm. what has a head, a tail, but does not have a body? It has, oh. a, it has a head. Tail, it doesn't have a body. I am something. Hmm. <laughs> Why not ask me? I am something. I, I am something. my mother before I die. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I am yeah. something. Let me put it up. I have a head. I have a tail. tail. I don't have body. I don't have body. What am I? Mm. What hmm. am I? Ah, a Greek. A you Greek. forgot yes, to ask me. <laughs> Maybe stem this time around. Not true. Hey, head, tail, <laughs> not body. Fish. Big head of Bull? fish. Bull? Head of fish, tail of fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Head, Maybe when they're cut into, into pieces. Fish has body. Uh, 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 really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Going. Gone. Time is going. Going. Gone. You are. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes, that's what I'm giving it. Let me smile. Mm. Heads or tails. <laughs> okay, moving oh, on. Pick another number from her. Uh, one to ten. You have one to ten left? No. Seven. Wow. Seven. Seven is a lucky number. Oh, yes, I love it. Okay. <laughs> that's a, this is quite simple. Oh. Hmm. Name four countries that start with S. Yeah. Four countries hmm. starts with hmm. S. South Africa. Okay. Yes. Sudan. Okay. Yeah. Sokoto. <laughs> Is that a country? <laughs> <laughs> See, she whispered. Yes. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Okay. Ah. Yes, Another yes. Country. Ah, it remains two. Ah, four on me. It's four, it's oh, four. It's four. Ah, remains four one. Five. Ah, please. Uh -uh. Remains one. Oh, yeah, ah, yeah. I'm so brilliant. Remains one. Mm, Flips it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Ah. Going? <laughs> Going? Ah, almost. Ah, almost. No. Try. Ah, 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 How many more? Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Calm down. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Just one more. Just one more. Like one more. Going? One more. If you still look around Africa, you find. Going. Europe? Please. Going. Just going. Going. Please, someone should tell me behind the camera. Don't. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> can do that. <laughs> no one is going to do that. <laughs> Somalia. Like Sweden. Switzerland. Oh, 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 imagine. Oh, so yeah. Let me, let me give you a five. Mm. Mm. So she, oh, I tried. You tried. Three yes. Oh, oh, that's why she's giving you the i5. So, so we still have some number left. So which okay. number are you picking again? Hmm. <laughs> four. Okay. okay, question number four. Imagine you are in a sinking rowboat surrounded by sharks. How would you survive? A by sharks. How would you survive? A sinking wow. road boat. Surrounded by sharks. Surrounded, Surrounded by, by sharks. sharks. How oh. would you survive? Do you know this song? Jesus set the way. <laughs> Just <laughs> God. I like, Imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine it. Imagine you are in a sinking yes, road boat. Like in the middle of the yes. sea. Oh my. Sharks. Wow. So, so how would you survive now? Uh, sharks. So how will you survive? Sharks. How would I survive? Like mm. Just imagine it. <laughs> you are my, in the in the robot. Mm. Yes. It's unimaginable. Yeah. But how so. would I survive? Mm. 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 Tricky question. Very, very indeed. So how would you survive? You are almost there. Almost. I mean you you're even you mentioned the answer in passing. But there. Are you serious? You yes. 
It's sad that I cannot tell you. I cannot, I cannot tell, you, tell you. you. said it. But you already said it. So just imagine. Like imagine. Imagine you are in imagine. a sinking room. Like in the middle of the ocean. Shark. Go in. Okay, I cannot just imagine myself there, basically. <laughs> I can't imagine. imagine. Like you just know, don't imagine it. So it will happen. When oh. you stop imagining, then you're gonna everything exactly. will end. Mm. So the okay. next number so, from her. Okay, your fourth question. Mm. Number. Mm. <laughs> number. 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 Three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, what is always coming? But never arrives. It's always coming, but it never keeps, gets there. It keeps it coming. Never arrives. It's always coming. Like it's coming, 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 coming. It never arrives. What keeps coming but never arrives? It never arrives. Mm. But it keeps coming. Aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when it's 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 uh, uh, it's oh uh, no? It's you know, every time you always seen aeroplanes. But it arrives in destination. Yes, because they are not crashing on the road. So what, so is what it? keeps coming? It keeps coming. We arrive. say it every time. Like oh. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 you have to calm down to answer the question, then you like, get it. I got it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, the yeah. next <laughs> question. That's the fifth one. Uh, yeah. plenty of yeah. Um, after this, two more. Number two one. one. Number one. Sing a lullaby. Ha, I have a baby girl. Like, uh, I know that that one is Oh my okay. god. Which of them should I sing? Mm. Okay. The one I want to sing, it has like four verses. No, like give us a short one. Just, I'll, 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 I'll just take one verse. <laughs> okay. okay. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, it was as white as snow. Wow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went. Mary went everywhere that Mary went. The lamb was sure to go. Aww. It followed her uh -uh. to school one day, school one night, school one night. It followed her. I'm a back one day. <laughs> she will give us the, as the, as the, as the, <laughs> as the children laugh and play. Oh. Laugh and play. Okay. I think laugh I'm enjoying it. May the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Wow. Oh. I, I oh. think it's for me. Two and five. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 you <laughs> really deserve that. Simple yeah. <laughs> so, okay. the sixth one. The sixth question. Uh, number six. Number six. Okay. If you're in a dark room with mm. a candle, mm. a wood stove, and a gas lamp, mm -hmm. you have only one match, like a matchstick. Okay. What do you light first? In that dark room, you're in a dark room, you have a candle. A wood stove, a gas That's lamp, lamp. We just want one match stick. stick. What do you we'll do? light first? The first. Yeah, match stick. Ha! 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 Five. Question number five, spelled ah. impossible backward. You just have six seconds oh, and you spell, spell impossible, impossible backward. backward. Yes. Just yes. Should I give you ten seconds? Let me, second. Let me give you ten seconds. Okay. Impossible Six backwards off. and your time starts now. E One, L, I, two, three, S, S, four, O, five, P, C, M, I. Respect. You missed the word. A, ah, ah, respect. Nine, yup, yup, yup. Ah, ten. Ah, to God. <laughs> <laughs> the B, you, <laughs> you threw it away. <laughs> I'm like still like like I was like, how can I ask you again? How can you get over? Over. Oh, oh, really? You oh, my God. It's been amazing. I, yes. You tried. You tried. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we wrap it up with our guests. guests. I mean, this is not the end of the show. This is where we wrap it up with our guest, Oku yeah. Wakemi. Thank, Thank you for coming you to the studio. Thank it's you so much. It's so much to have you here. And shout out to our beautiful baby girl. I mean, she's, she's still... She's napping. Yes. But then, <laughs> but then, so we thank you for thank coming. You very much so we got a break and then Legends Lounge crew will be back. Yes, yes, yes. So 
so much fun here in the studios today. Uh, don't forget, we've spoken about how you can handle breakups, and yes, we've informed you that it is important. not the end of the world. What? You should get moving and move on, ensure that um, you get back in yes. the game as soon as you're done. And take time off if you need time, and uh, cry if you have to, so. talk to someone if you have to. Most importantly, speak to God, I speak with God, however you That's do that, really just talk to God about it. And then, move on. Yes. To a better <laughs> life. Better you have life. to, the most important thing is, when you, or you've been broken, just pick up the broken heart together, mend them. That's why she said cry, you cry oh. over it. And, and this is yes. for the heartbreakers. <laughs> if you want to break anybody's heart, please don't, don't do it politely. politely. Don't do it in don't public, it in please. Public. I, thought you were, I thought you were going to say, tell them. <laughs> don't, don't, do don't do it in public. Just do respect yourself. Do it. Don't the other do it in public, please. Don't. I don't even expect people breaking up on phones. Uh, you have to have discussion. Well, with well, everybody, everybody has a way they deal with. It. And stop yes. petting the person uh -huh. that broke up with you, making the person to feel better. What is it? You've broken up. Okay. I so, <laughs> okay, we launch it. So. <laughs> for okay. me, I'm sure you've had a wonderful time on NFTV today. I mean, sorry, tonight rather. And I'm sure you're going to join us next week, same station, same time. Take care of yourself and be good. I am Omolala Diary. See you next time. And from my side, you know, I've not been on the show. I, I, it's not that I missed the you part, know. but I'm, I'm with you in spirit. Ah. And you were saying you were saying you were I'm going to ask you where you had. I know the <laughs> first segment. You know, I uh. love that part so much. But don't worry, we'll still bring more of things like this when you're watching Ladies Lounge. And my name will still remain from Shaw Afolabi, your one and only Funshi babe. Goodbye for tonight. All right. Um. You know you can watch more episodes actually of Ladies Lounge on YouTube mm -hmm. by checking our YouTube channel, New Frontiers Television Broadcast. Follow us on Instagram at NFTV Ladies Lounge on Twitter at NFTV One. Then you can have a private chat with us on WhatsApp through the number on your screen. Tell us, yeah, give us feedbacks, give us your comments. If you want to ask questions, if you need counseling, reach out to us. We are always ready for you. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, you can do business with us on Ladies Lounge. Lounge and uh, the space for sponsorship and adverts. We thank all of our sponsors. I yes. have uh, till this moment. We appreciate you all. Uh, photography, then that, uh, styling, makeup, and all of that. We appreciate you. And uh, we pray that your business continues Amen. to grow. So that's where you can keep sponsoring the show. And then it's our amazing production crew. It's been wonderful having you guys on board tonight. Special shout out to Love It Ego. She's, <laughs> I mean, she has, she, she's, she's behind the scene. She's been the one um, doing backup production for us today in the absence of our producer, Shagufumi Yudoko. So thanks, Love It, for coming around. Well, you know, we always love your ladies' lounge, right? Yes, so we do. And that's it on the show tonight. My name is Adiola Degoke. Do join us again next week. I'll bring to you another exciting episode. Till then, stay safe. <laughs>